Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, and I'm sure that you've all seen the Call of Duty Black Ops trailer, um, uh, Black Ops 2 trailer, so if you haven't, go and check that out, and I will give you, uh, my thoughts here on it. I thought it looked pretty good, um, I'm not a big fan of the, the setting, but then you kind of put it in perspective, and it's only 10 years ahead, and there's only, there's not that much future, futuristic stuff, so I don't really mind, um, if they went super futuristic, I'd probably care, um, but I think that this is the big change that everyone's been waiting for, um, but the the issue is that it's not really a it's not really a game mechanic. Well, actually, we'll get into that later. I don't want to spoil that. Um, so my thoughts that it looks really good, um, and also that half the uh, sorry a third of the game apparently takes place in the nineteen eighties, and then the rest is in uh, two thousand twenty five. And everyone's like, oh, finally a future Call of Duty. Little do they know that all the Call of Duties have currently been in the future except for Black Ops and all the World War Two ones. Uh, actually, no. When was COD 4? That was 2012, wasn't it? You know what I mean, anyway, I'm just me being a smartass. But, you know, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, what's his name? Frank Woods is back, which is interesting, and you'll probably play as him, or play as a friend of him in the in the first quarter of the game. Um, so that's good. I, I like how they're doing both of those, instead of just doing uh, the 2025. Um, what else looks good? I mean, Call of Duty always delivers in the single player, I'll give it that. Um, the single player is always fun and interesting. Um, even if it makes no sense, just the way that Call of Duty plays makes a single player really fun, really action-paced, and really, you know, just fun to play. Um, the multiplayer, obviously we know nothing about. Zombies have been confirmed, um, and they're doing something wicked with that, apparently. So the information that we know at the moment is they've mentioned kind of a sandbox kind of style that you make choices that affect the story, and they're going to have multiple endings, um, and all that kind of stuff. Set in Los Angeles, Afghanistan, all these different places, which looks interesting, um... And all the characters, so hopefully, a lot of the characters, um, and my phone's going off, so, hopefully, uh, a lot of the characters from Black Ops Return, looking at you, Reznov, um, because if you crack the code on Black Ops, clearly Reznov is not dead, uh, or maybe that's just a lie, I don't know, um, but anyway, I was on the internet, obviously, and all these people who don't like it, it's just, I don't understand. Okay, if you don't like Call of Duty, fine. I don't know, I don't understand why you need to stick around to inform everyone else that it's the same game from 2007. It sucks when it clearly doesn't. Um, I don't understand. I could understand if Treyarch and Infinity Ward had a better series to develop. So, if, if, for example, if they were the heads of Grand Theft Auto and they were working on Call of Duty for the past five years, okay, fine, have a whinge. But they don't work on anything else. I don't understand why people follow them like a lost dog just to have a big whinge. Um, and it's not constructive, it's just idiotic. Um, and not only that, but I saw comments on the videos, like, clearly they have half thumbs up, half thumbs down ratio, which is just, I don't know, I don't really understand, because the trailer's pretty awesome, and credit to whoever at Triarch and Activision do the trailers, because they're fucking amazing, um, but I don't understand, like, one comment said, oh, look at this, they've stolen everything from Battlefield, what's the futuristic Battlefield, 20, f shit, what is it? Not 2042, 2142, or something like that. Which is pretty ironic, and I know I'm going to get hate for this, but it needs to be said, which is pretty ironic, considering how much Battlefield 3 stole from Call of Duty. Now, I'm thinking, you know, I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's full of shit. Go and look at what EA and DICE said, and specifically how they were developing that game, so suck a dick. Um, but who cares? There's nothing original in video games anymore anyway, let's be honest. Um, like I said, the setting really doesn't bother me, it looks pretty cool, um, it's gonna be definitely, be, like, if it was Black Ops 2 and set in the 80s and 60s, 60s, 70s, 80s, um, like Black Ops was, then I can understand the repetition part, because obviously we've been there, done that, just like the past three Modern Warfare 3 games, um, but definitely this is interesting, um, the multiplayer probably looked good, zombies I don't really care about, kind of over zombies myself, but anyway, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, November 13th, 2012, uh, by Treyarch, the better of the the better of the video game um, designers on Call of Duty. So hopefully it will be good, and you will buy it, and you know you will buy it. So don't lie. Trust me, I have been there. We've all been there. As soon as as soon as fucking as soon as Call of Duty World at War came out, I'm not buying the fucking next one. We bought Modern Warfare Two. As soon as Modern Warfare Two came out, I'm not buying the fucking next one. We bought Call of Duty Black Ops. And then when Modern Warfare Three came out, I'm not fucking buying that one. And we all bought Modern Warfare Three. Unbelievable. The gamers, you know, I'm guilty of this. I don't, don't, I'm not being pretentious. I'm not being, sorry, not pretentious, um, patronizing. But we're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of it as gamers. We have this fucking, we have this need to bitch and moan and say, I'm not going to fucking buy it. And then we fucking buy it. So, 
anyway, I hope you guys buy it because I do want to play. I do want to play this game. So hopefully, uh, yeah, it'll be good. And I'm assuming it'll be good. It, it should be good. Two years development time. It'll be a good game. It'll be a good game. I trust. I have faith in Treyarch. They made a damn good game in, in Black Ops. World at War was pretty damn good, although the single player was definitely the weakest of the Call of Duties I've played. Um, being COD 4, Modern Warfare 3, World at War, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 2. Um, so yeah, I do trust Treyarch, and I like that Woods is in it, because Woods is pretty awesome. Uh, hope for hopefully Hudson's in it. Or did Hudson die? Wait a minute, let me remember. I've got to think. I've got to think. I've got to think. Hudson, Hudson, Hudson. No, he didn't die. So hopefully he should be in it because the guy who does the voice, um, shit, what's his name? Ed, 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 Ed Harris. No, that's not right. Anyway, he was in that sniper movie. Good actor. Actually, it is Ed Harris, I think. Anyway, I'm going on a rant here. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Um, there's heaps of uh, analysis trailers and stuff if you want to go and check that out. They're on IG and they're pretty good. Um, like it, because it's a, the whole game is pretty much a war between China and America apparently. Um, so go and check that out if you haven't already. Go to IG and they did a pretty good one. I've watched that. Um, so yeah. Until next time, gentlemen, what do you think? Are you going to buy it? And don't say no because you know you are. Um, so until next time, I'm out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm out. Au revoir.